attack on a 46-year-old female. Um, she was uh, approached uh, sometime between uh, sh shortly after 2.30 a.m. Uh, early yesterday morning, um, and she was subsequently attacked in the alleyway uh, close to uh, the intersection of Barton Street East and Emerald uh, Avenue in, uh, in the city's north end. Um, thankfully, a, a witness uh, had an opportunity to see them uh, leave together into an alleyway uh, or laneway, and uh, a short time thereafter heard some screams for, for help. So uh, this witness was able to uh, somewhat confront our, um, uh, our suspect in this matter. Uh, there was just a brief, brief comments between the two, which I won't, I won't get into. Uh, the, the male suspect was then, uh, then fled the scene uh, westbound on Barton Street uh, without, his, uh, without, without his jacket on. Um, at this time, we've released some images of our suspect. Uh, he was described to us as a, uh, as a black male, young, uh, tall, thin, uh, wearing a uh, black and white uh, jacket. And we've since been able to uh, determine that the jacket worn by the suspect is a Paul and Bear NASA uh, jacket. NASA meaning uh, the space organization. Um, that is the jacket. We've released some images uh, of that jacket today. Um, we're seeking the, uh, the assistance from the public to help identify this male. We have not identified him to, to date. We are getting some tips and some cooperation from the public, and for that we're grateful. But uh, if, if you do know who this person is, we're asking that you contact the Hamilton uh, Police Homicide Unit uh, to, to uh, fill us in with some information if possible. Can you comment on the, um, the condition of the victim? She was brought to hospital in life-threatening condition. How is she? She was. She was brought to the hospital life-threatening condition. That's why uh, the homicide unit is, is taking the lead on this investigation. We've been working with the sexual assault unit. Um, however, this time she is still in critical condition. Uh, the investigation remains with our office at this time until we can determine that uh, uh, you know she'll recover from her injuries. But right now she remains in critical condition. Do you know if the, uh, the suspect and the victim knew each other at all? I don't know what the relationship is between the suspect uh, and the victim. Um, just from from reviewing, you know, the evidence that we have right now, I I, I can't say for certain that there's a, a relationship there. We haven't been able to uh, speak to to the victim. Um, she remains unconscious. Um, if she, uh, you know, if, if she comes to, then we'll have an opportunity. We'll make an opportunity to try to speak with her. But right now, we've been unable to, to speak with her. So the nature of their relationship is unknown. She, the information we have is she's a current uh, sex trade worker in the city, yes. And do you have any comments on maybe other sex workers that might know something and be uh, nervous about legal repercussions if they say anything? Well, they should know that there's going to be no legal uh, repercussions. We're looking for help uh, to, to help identify who this male suspect is. That's our priority. That's what, that's what matters right now. Um, I would encourage anybody that has information to come forward if they do know who this, uh, who this person is. Um, there would be no repercussions for, for witnesses to come forward in this matter at all. Okay. And are you able to tell us like, the nature of her injuries, if there's kind of injuries she's I, I'm not going to be specific with injuries other than they're, they're very serious, obviously, putting her in life-threatening condition, um, but the nature and the location of them. Uh, right now, that information is only known by uh, the suspect and the victim and, and those that treated the victim, so we're going to keep that within the investigation right now. Okay, perfect, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Yeah, I hope. So Krista just put that out. Yeah, we're hoping to get, uh, you know, ho hopefully people recognize that. The jacket is very unique, certainly. Um, and so hopefully by narrowing down exactly what type of jacket it is, maybe people will come forward. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping that's, that's the case. So like I said, we've gotten some tips, but um, we're looking for more. Uh, we want to know who this guy is. So the, 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 the images are actually quite good. Uh, so I would imagine if somebody recognizes him, sees it, I, I would think they're going to know who he is. So um, that's what we're hopeful for. Do you have yeah. a warning to other workers out there? Oof. No, I mean, I always try to be vigilant, but I, I think it's important to note that it's not anything that this woman did wrong. Uh, <laughs> you know, this wasn't something that was to be expected. She did nothing wrong here. Um, and so this, you know, this should this should not have happened regardless. Um, that's my message. That would be it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you.